and millions and millions of dollars in cash missing. The LAPD and FBI now investigating a huge SoCal heist that happened over the Easter weekend. Eyewitness News has learned those missing millions were taken from a cash vault and armored car facility in Silmar. Air 7 HD even spotting what appears to be a large boarded up hole on the side of that vault building. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about one of the largest cash heists in the history of Los Angeles, California. Up to $30 million was stolen from a Garter World cash vault. Now, there's so many questions. First of all, why was $30 million not in the bank? Garter World is an armored truck facility, so I don't know why that much money was just hanging out in the vault, shouldn't be on the truck on the way from point A to point B. I have no idea, but different story. I digress. $30 million in the cash vault, not in the bank, in an armored truck facility. And these guys went undetected. I don't know how you pull a juggernaut through the side of the wall and door go through the roof and bang into a vault and take $30 million undetected at an armored truck facility. Where's the security? Where's the cameras? Where's motion detection? This is like a movie. But in the movie, they got all kind of security features, lasers, and where is all this at? As of right now, I don't know about any suspects. I don't know about any pictures, identification, or whatever. But you know what? If I was a betting man, I might put a few ducats in the bucket on this particular theory. There has been a bunch of roving criminals who are highly trained from a certain part of the world I think maybe they could have been involved here. I'll get to who these guys are a little bit more a little bit later. But first things first, let's check out the actual news clip. And of course, I will place everything in the box. If you're on IG, visit a link in the bio. Go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Breaking news at 11, millions and millions of dollars in cash missing. The LAPD and FBI now investigating a huge SoCal heist that happened over the Easter weekend. Eyewitness News has learned those missing millions were taken from a cash vault and armored car facility in Silmar. Air 7 HD even spotting what appears to be a large boarded up hole. Come on, man. You see this hole on the side of the building? So nobody heard that. Nobody saw that. There's no pictures. Everybody has cell phone. Everybody has cameras. And we don't really have much. I'm finding that pretty hard to believe on the side of that vault building. Eyewitness News reporter Michelle Fisher live in Silmar tonight with new details on what's believed to be one of the biggest thefts in L.A. history. Michelle. Mark, it's like something that you'd see in a Hollywood movie, but that multi-million dollar mystery playing out at a facility here in Silmar, the sophisticated heist leading authorities to believe a crew of some kind is behind this brazen break in. And also, was it an inside job? That's going to be another question because it went undetected. So was it an inside thing where they knew, okay, it's going to be a patrol, but they're going to be off. It's going to be cameras, but it's not going to be cameras right here and right there. Was it an inside job is the question, but let's continue. The Garter World facility in Silmar tonight at the center of a joint FBI and LAPD investigation, days after thieves broke in and stole tens of millions of dollars on Easter. Officials briefed on the investigation telling ABC News the thieves got in undetected without setting off alarms through the roof. This Air 7 video showing the building's roof hatch and also a boarded up hole and pile of debris on the side of the facility. It's unclear if that damage is related to Sunday's theft and just how much money was taken from Garter World. Now, they don't know whether the hole on the side of the building is related to the theft, but I think we can assume that it is. Why would it be a giant hole on the side of the building if it was not involved with some kind of, like what caused that hole right there? Just a random occurrence, the building fell apart. Come on, let's be real. But the heist comes almost two years after an estimated $100 million in jewelry was stolen from a Brinks transport semi parked at a truck stop on Interstate 5 near Fraser Park. But the seal is broken, and that's clearly fresh cut, and there's this clearly fresh work here, mark yeah. right there. There's fresh work dust. And to this day, that case from 2022 remains unsolved. As for this heist here, authorities telling ABC News that right now there are no suspects. A lot of unanswered questions still. If you have any. <laughs> no suspects, really? Come on. Look at how secure this facility is. Like, you see how, sec how secure the facility was with all the gates and everything. But apparently it wasn't secure enough. Obviously, that's kind of what's going on now. There's questions, of course, like, hey, 
Who could have done this? Who could be behind such a brazen theft, burglary, to go undetected and steal that much from an armored truck facility? Who could have done this? Now, I'm not going to say it was migrants. I'm not going to blame it on them because right now, I don't know who did it. However, there are gangs of so-called migrants who are highly trained in, th in doing things just like this. Maybe, just maybe, these guys were involved. Here's something that you got to see. Listen. I think this is in Michigan, Oakland County, Michigan. So in the Detroit metro area, if I'm not mistaken, check out what these guys are doing, and then you could just maybe make an assumption in your mind. Maybe these guys or guys like this who were trained like this could have done the heist over in California. Check it out. The security video we've seen over the past six months is chilling enough. Unencumbered and well-equipped thieves knock out glass doors, disable the alarm system, and unconcerned, easily and frankly quite loudly, slide a half-ton safe down a flight of stairs before carrying it off in a rental car. <laughs> so look, okay, so if you have guys that can break into a home undetected, set off no alarms, if there's any rain cameras, anything like that, they're using devices to scramble that up. So nobody knows they're there. They're stealing your safe. And who knows it's in the safe? It could be money. It could be guns. And of course, if they steal the safe, they can crack it. So maybe these guys could also do a thing like what happened over in California. This is a very similar crime, just on a smaller scale. But let's keep on going. A flight of stairs before carrying it off in a rental car. They come in teams with backpacks. Each backpack has a different tool set. Some are the breaching tools, some are the electronics to jam alarm systems. Very quick, sophisticated actions. Local, state, and federal officers went to work and put enough pressure on these thieves to head elsewhere. Yet they've cycled back from L.A., New York, Tennessee, and Ohio now, and more efficient than ever. So they already been all over the country in L.A. You just heard them. So if these guys are doing this kind of action already in Los Angeles and then there was a big uh, armored truck facility heist in Los Angeles, sometimes two plus two is four, just sometimes, I'm saying. Maybe it wasn't them, but this has hallmarks of what this kind of gang would do. Bouchard says the last group of alleged thieves arrested received training in Chile and they're roving with dozens of others. So they were trained in Chile trained specifically to do this kind of thing we ain't talking about just a ragtag group of people that can break into an armored truck facility from the roof bust out the side and still 30 million dollars undetected you ain't talking about just regular everyday joe you're talking about highly trained individuals now we know we have teams from colombia and uh new york intelligence has teams uh like criminal gangs from venezuela now they rent hotel rooms, Airbnbs, apartments, carrying multiple disposable IDs in case they get arrested. Bouchard says if you're leaving your home empty and quiet for a while. If you have an alarm, use it. Try to get your devices hardwired. Try to have redundancy of communication. So there it is. That's what's happening out there in Oakland County, Detroit, Michigan area. But this has happened all over the country. You heard him say they're in Ohio, L.A., Tennessee. Michigan, they're everywhere. So maybe just maybe this heist was a result of some migrants coming across illegally who were highly trained criminals in their country of origin. I'm not saying it is, but I'm not saying it isn't. I'm just saying that this is a high probability. If it's not these guys, then it's other guys who are very well trained. As I close, I want to say this. I find it hard to believe that this was done without any kind of insight help and or without highly trained people that knew exactly what they were doing. And I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you, what's your opinion on this? Who do you think did this? Do you think it was an inside job? Do you think it was migrants? Do you think it was locals? Do you think it was a mob bloods crips? Who do you think did this in Southern California, $30 million stolen from an armored truck facility. Are you buying the story that they went undetected and nobody knew? Nobody knew? Really? Does that really compute with you? It doesn't compute to me. Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. I think that we have an organized uh, crime unit here 
from south of the border. They came and did this. I could be wrong. It could have been just some regular old dude with a blowtorch and a pack of C4 or something crazy like that, but I doubt it. I think we all know what's going on here, and until we tighten up the border, we're going to see a lot more things like this happen, not just at armored truck facilities, but in regular normies houses all over the USA, not just in California. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.